Welcome to another beautiful day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Vaughn Street East in Oshawa. Today we're having a look at the 2017 Terrain SLE2 front wheel drive shown here in the very nice ebony twilight metallic and under the hood you'll find a 3.6 liter dock direct injected V6 engine with 6 speed automatic transmission. Gonna take a look now at the inside of this vehicle. So the upholstery in here is all cloth. Just down here, the controls for the eight way power adjustable driver seat, including lumbar support. As well, this vehicle is equipped with premium Pioneer speakers, which allow for the best sound quality when listening to your music inside the vehicle. So we'll take a step inside now to show you around in here. We'll start at the IntelliLink color touchscreen. So this vehicle is equipped with AM, FM, and XM radio. If you click on this now playing icon, you can see what song is playing, what source it's coming from. Uh, as well, you can uh, uh, set ra favorite radio station sorry, down along the bottom here by simply pressing and holding the spot where you want the favorite to go. You have up to six pages of those favorites that you can set using this fave button down here. You can flip through those pages so uh, you can see along the bottom there it's just scrolling from one to six. As well, you can flip through those uh, radio sources I mentioned using this source button. So there's AM, FM, back to XM radio. If you want to get back to that main menu with all the options displayed, you're going to hit that home button. Uh, as well, this vehicle has a built-in navigation system. So if you click on that nav icon, a map will pop up showing uh, where you are currently, what's around you. Uh, as well, you can input a destination on a separate icon. So if we go to more, destination uh, as I mentioned you can input a destination so you get directions where you're going you don't get lost on the way so you can also connect your mobile device to the vehicle to listen to some music from that you can do so using USB auxiliary or Bluetooth taking a look now at the buttons below all that so over here on the left you have a button to turn on and off the stereo system dial will control the volume this dial over here will help you navigate the main menu uh, and the button on top will help you select anything you land on uh, we also have a button for nav and destination, so they both access the same things uh, that the icons accessed. You just have the option, just as you did up here, uh, to hit, uh, hit the button instead of the screen. Uh, so below that, you have the button for the hazard lights, and then uh, we get to all the climate controls. So this dial on the left, uh, the button on top will turn on and off the climate controls. The dial will control the fan speed. Over here on the right, the, uh, the button sorry, will turn on and off the air conditioning. The dial will control the temperature. You have front and rear window defrost. Uh, you also have an option for both the driver and the passenger to have heated seats, which is, of course, very nice during those cold winter months. We also have the four buttons below that, which will control the driver information center, which is that screen right in front of the driver there. You can flip through information about the trip itself, so average vehicle speed, fuel economy, fuel range, uh, or you can look at information about the vehicles. So uh, you can change units if you're crossing any borders and that's necessary, uh, oil life and tire pressure. Uh, so just below all that, you have a little ledge for storage, more storage space down below, as well as an auxiliary power outlet at the back there. Moving back in between the seats, you have two cup holders, this nice button for traction control, a little bit of storage space. You have this very nice leather wrapped center armrest here. If you open that up, you have lots more storage space down below. You also have this nice little compartment at the back there to store some smaller items that can be removed if you wish to have better access to the space down here. Uh, also down here, you have a USB port and auxiliary input as well as an auxiliary power outlet down at the bottom there. If we look directly up from there, you have this beautiful power tilt and sliding sunroof to let in some fresh air or some sunlight. However, if it is a little too sunny, you can simply pull that shade across, block out some of that sunlight. That sunroof is controlled by these two controls just up here. As you can see, one is for the slide function, one is for the tilt function. We'll take a look now at the right hand side of this very nice leather wrapped steering wheel. You have two columns for stereo controls. One is for hands-free communication. Over here on the left hand side, you have all the buttons for the cruise control. And uh, we'll finish it off with some basic controls on the driver's side door. So we have window locks, power windows, power mirrors, and up here beside the handle are the power lock and unlock. I'm gonna take a look at the trunk space of this vehicle now. Before we do so, I just wanted to point out those very nice 18 inch machined aluminum wheels. Coming around to the back now, I'm gonna open up this trunk. To do so, there's a button located just underneath this GMC logo. You wanna press that, pull upwards, and the trunk will open nice and easily. Taking a look inside the trunk now, uh, there's lots of storage space. You can even increase the amount of storage space you have by folding that second row seating forward, which I'll show you how to do in just a few seconds here. You also have some extra storage space located over here on the left-hand side and over there on the right-hand side. 
as well you have some hooks lining the right and left hand side of the trunk if you want to attach anything to secure the cargo back here as well there's an auxiliary power outlet compact spare tire should you ever need it as well as this very nice retractable cargo cover so if you want to make use of it you simply line up the peg with the insert on the side as you can see it just kind of sits on top of any cargo that may be back here protects it during the trip uh, if you don't want to make use of it, you can just have it leaning against that second row of seating there, or you can remove it completely if you want to store some taller items in the back. To close this trunk up now, there's a handle located up here on the left-hand side. You want to grab a hold of that, pull downwards, and the trunk will close nice and easily. We're going to take a look now at the back seat area of this vehicle. So we'll start here at the rear passenger side door. You have lots of storage space towards the bottom there, as well as the power window controls. As I mentioned earlier, the second row of seating can fold forward to give you even more trunk space, so I'll show you how to do that now. Uh, you're just going to grab hold of this handle right beside the headrest, pull that, and push the seat down until it lies flat. It's the same procedure over there for the second half of the split bench seat, and as you can see with that seat down, it just gives you so much more room in the trunk. To put that seat back to its normal position, you're just going to push it back up until it clicks into place. So we'll take a step inside the back now to show you around in here. So you have some storage space located behind both the passenger seat and the driver's seat as well. Behind the center console, you have an auxiliary power outlet. And turning around, you can see that this back seat would fit three people quite comfortably. However, if no one is taking up that center seat, you can simply pull down on this tab. Down comes the center folding armrest with two cup holders to make sure that the people in the back have a comfortable trip. What a fantastic vehicle, both inside and out. So once again, this was a look at the 2017 Terrain SLE2 front wheel drive, shown here in the very nice ebony twilight metallic. And this vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar. It also has its own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. If you'd like to give this Terrain a test drive, please come down to Mills Motors, located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, where we will always do whatever it takes.